WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently got all the U.S. indices trading in the same direction. That is to the upside. The Dow's up 679. The S&P 73. The NASDAQ 100, 125. No charts. Where did they? Oh, it's on the wrong screen. Sorry about that. Folks, there we go. Mr. Bill, I had to make sure you had something to uh, to hit me on. So here's the here's the, basically the uh, screens out here. So you can see all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. Let's not spend any time here. Let's change screens. Let's go take a look at our U.S. index charts out here. So we, we begin by taking a look at the Dow that's in the upper left-hand corner. You'll see yesterday was bar number nine of a TD9 count. The oscillator and change line changed colors about three or four bars ago. This suggests that price and that line are going to catch up to each other. That's currently printed about 35,286. The S&P 500 says that yesterday's move below its breakout level or was a false breakdown, 45.51. So here, price should go target its oscillator and change line of 46.59. The NASDAQ 100, you can see how the oscillator and change line over the past three trading sessions have acted as resistance. If it continues to move higher, 16.342 would be its target. The Russell 2000 informed a TD9 count bottom yesterday. Its oscillator and change line had changed colors. That suggests move to 22.85. The semis have not been able to take out the swing point from November 26th, that was last Friday. They are. It does have a road's momentum indicator top. It's just a sideways consolidation move is what I see right now inside the semis. The trannies, I don't have a great read on what they're doing out here. Spot volatility index, it formed a TD9 count top yesterday. Now, the TD9 counts don't seem to really work that well, at least on the bottoms. I'd have to really go back and look at the tops out there to see if they identify tops. Um, but uh, not sure. Now, in the case of the XAU, it's not good because yesterday was the bar following bar number nine. Today, price is trading below that. The XAU is signaling to you and I that it wants to get back to the 116.67 level. But it's really all going to be dependent upon gold and Christmas, a uh, gold and Christmas, gold and silver, both of which have bottoming signals. Uh, they are the TD9 count pattern. I'm just trying to find those here quickly for us. So both of those charts will populate. So you can see the bar following bar number nine on silver. That's on your right-hand side. You're going to have bar following bar number nine is low right now in gold for today. So we should see a bottom here, and then that should go take the XAU up higher along with the mining equities. Folks, stay tuned for David White, the power trading hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back with you tomorrow sharp at 8 a.m. Have a terrific Thursday, folks.